this is a Christian church that has taken in 12 families uh, because these are Christian families that are persecuted. A number of families have actually had to flee their homes. Some lost their family members. And you can see that this sanctuary has actually been converted um, with these blankets. And individual families live in here. We've got 12 families living in here right now. Christians, uh, families have gathered together to live in, in this church. And uh, I tell you what, this is the heart of God, that they would just come together, this church would open its doors and say, yeah, and it's hard to tell, but families of two to seven to eight live in little compartmentalized pockets. Um, some of the issues they have is they speak Arabic, they don't speak Kurdish, so they're in a kind of in a foreign land, and it's hard for them to get work here. Most of these guys were businessmen, um, you know, had warehouses and, and uh, grocery stores and all this kind of stuff, and now they're living in tents with their family, just trying to exist. So this is what the persecuted church looks like right now. And you know what? Uh, they didn't know we were coming, but the Lord sent us because He held prayers. And uh, when we showed up, we were able to help them uh, with immediate uh, resources. They were just, you want to know hope infused from God Almighty to these folks. They were thanking the Lord. And uh, you know what's amazing is they, they retained their dignity. Uh, under such hardship, they don't even have running water here. They have to go outside. Uh, there's no restrooms in here. They go outside, and life still continues. So we really pray, as we told them, there's, there's about 12 families here that we would really love to be able to help them as a family unit get their own place. Anyway, it's a great opportunity to help the persecuted church here in Iraq. Uh, that the enemy has tried to destroy through genocide of Christians. So thank you for caring, thank you for sharing, and uh, believe me, their hearts are full of hope uh, because of Christ's love in y'all.